In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a battery percentage on iPhone. And there are three ways on how we can set it up. So there is the status bar method, a home screen, and a shortcut to fetch it. So let's just get it started. The first is the status bar. And it depends if you have a home button iPhone or a Face ID iPhone. So on the home button iPhones like the iPhone 8 and iPhone SE and any other with the home button, you can set and choose the percentage of the battery to be always visible in the status bar. And you can set it up really easily just in the settings. You navigate to the battery section and there you just make sure the show battery percentage to be enabled. This will make sure that you will always see it every time you take a look at a phone, no matter which app you use, it just always will be there at the top. On the Face ID iPhones, however, you don't really have a chance but to go with the basic and default option, which means that if you swipe down from the upper right corner to go to the control center, you will see, besides other things, the percentage of the battery as well. I'm not saying it's the best thing, but this is just how it is, and you just cannot make it there show up. For example, instead of the battery icon, I mean, there's nothing which you really can do about it. The second option is to use the home screen indicator, which is most likely for you the built-in widget for batteries. So of course, go to the wiggle mode on the home screen and add the widget and make sure to find the batteries one. And there are multiple sizes, like you can have it in the square or in the rectangle. And there you will see um, your iPhone's battery percentage as the first thing, and perhaps your Apple Watch, your AirPods or other accessories can show up there. This can also be a good indicator of the battery percentage on your iPhone, and it just it, it's just there all the time, no matter what you do, you just go to the home screen and it is just there. And the third option is to use shortcuts. This pretty much means that you download the Apple Shortcuts app from the App Store, the official one from Apple, of course, and you create or download some shortcuts which do various different things with your battery. For example, it can notify you when you reach not 20, not 10, but for example, 50%. It can notify you when you are, for example, charging and your battery reaches 100% to take it off the charger. And the possibilities are kind of endless with the shortcuts. So you can use something like a low power mode, but not the, the regular one, but something that completely turns down the brightness and turns off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and everything. When you reach certain percent point, like 3% or 5 for example, you can pretty much automate anything using the shortcuts. Like you can choose the battery level, you know, like you create an automation and you choose what happens when your battery level uh, is equal to rises above or falls below a certain percentage point. So you can choose it to be 50% and you can choose that whenever your battery percentage hits and is equal to 50%, something happens, like an action is the result of this cause. And together it is an automation. And this can be anything, like you can make some app open up, you can get just a notification, you can send some texts or whatever. I mean, the possibilities are there, but a lot of times inspiration is required for this as well. I will of course link some of the articles or some websites for the shortcuts down below just so you can see how it exactly it is done, but once you get the grasp of it, you're just going to be creating your own shortcuts and automations. This is, of course, a little bit more advanced way to go about it, but nonetheless, it's still a useful way and useful thing to have in your arsenal or to know about, basically, when using iPhone and uh, having or keeping track of your battery health and battery percentage. Like, of course, battery health is kind of a different topic, and if you are on your iPad, like you're using iPad OS, make sure to check out my other video in which I talk about how to check uh, the battery health on uh, the iPad, because it's not in the settings, there are different ways how you can do that, and I mean, yeah, just a little bit more complicated, so if you are interested in that, take a look at that other video. So I actually don't really want to drag out this video any longer, because there is no really need for that, so hopefully you enjoyed this video and found something valuable in it. If this was what you were searching for, I would be really... Uh, glad if you left me some sort of comment saying some nice, th nice things or just, just an honest comment about the video down below. You can also subscribe so you don't miss future uploads and leave a thumbs up if you liked it or found it helpful for more videos and content like this in the future. Definitely, like I say, stay tuned for 
more and other future videos. Have a great rest of the day and we can see each other in the future uploads.